Hello and welcome to IntelliPads CompTIA Cloud Essential course. I will be walking with you through the objectives and domains of this course. So let's treat the track. What is CompTIA Cloud Essential Certification? This, certi this is a vendor neutral technical certification and are you fit for uh, as a candidate for the certification? Well, the certification is for business analysts, business process owners, technical support staff, managed service provider personnel, new data center staff, sales and marketing staff in cloud product or service environment as per CompTIA Cloud Essentials objectives. But I would include the students as well. In terms of prerequisites, not a requirement but recommended that candidate must have at least six months of experience working in an environment that markets or relies upon IT related services. There are certain further elements which I would like to add on to uh, which will come into the next slide. Now outcome of the course, once the course is done you should demonstrate knowledge and understanding of cloud computing principles and concepts that would be ideas around this architecture. Understanding of cloud computing from business and technical point of view. Now, as we all know, or we will know after this course, that this is that is cloud is more or less packaging of existing technologies. We already have some technologies. It is repackaging of those technologies which were pretty much living in silos on their own islands. Technologically, you got to understand the pieces of the parcel in order to put it together. Let's find out. To truly understand what I mean by silos and what has been there in terms of technology, we all understand that there has been compute say this is a server and whenever a business requirement comes in say you need an exchange server for email what do you do the operations team requests to accounts team and its management for approval and provisioning of a hardware server this hardware server post the approval goes to the technical team for purchase and this procedure can be uh, in a varied form it varies from business to business bottom line is it usually used to take approximately 1 to 30 days for provisioning a server including the licensing and identification of the hardware hardware devices which would get into the server. Now you put that server in place and bring it up for business. This was the traditional model for any service to begin, to kick a start. Now with the new architecture what we are doing is, or what is being done is you take the same hardware and provide a hypervisor if you do not know what hypervisor is, stand by and we will explain what types of hypervisor we have and what is a hypervisor. It is a virtualization layer which is set on the bare metal. I mean, there could be various form of hy hypervisors, but for now, just, just bear with me. Let's assume a hypervisor is a software which sits on top of the bare metal, your CPU hard disk, and then it helps you in creating a virtualized form of operating system over it, multiple operating system. So this, this particular technology has really, really helped in re number one, resource utilization, resource utilization, and number two, time to market, which we will understand later, but provisioning of things swiftly. Now all of these things have been there for quite some time. Virtualization, networking, compute architectures, all of these things. What would cloud do? 
cloud takes all of these virtualization and networking and uh, other stuffs in the compute domain and provides another abstraction or maybe if you will presentation for you to deliver you elasticity that is whenever you would need you can create virtual machines or you can expand you can throw more weight to the compute elasticity resiliency time to faster time to market and many others as discussed by NIST in its cloud document which we will see in a very short while. So here, here are the domains as prescribed by CompTIA and on the right side we have percentage weighted per domain so 15% for domain 1, 20% so on and so forth. So what are these characteristics of cloud services from a business perspective? The keyword is business perspective. Cloud computing and business value. This cloud computing, new architecture, how is it impacting your business value? How is it adding on to it and changing the paradigms? Technical perspective and cloud types. Now cloud types, you might have heard about public cloud, private cloud, hybrid cloud, all sorts of cloud, the rainy cloud. We will look into it. A steps to successful adoption of cloud so once we understand a technology and we have an understanding that that technology serves the purpose of your business needs and requirements we need a solid path towards adoption adoption could be your in existing infrastructure to cloud from cloud to your existing existing infrastructure connections there are varied forms of adaptations we will look into it in further slides impact and changes of cloud computing on IT service management. We already have an infrastructure, be it Microsoft's uh, framework, be it ITIL, or any one of them. We already have a laid out procedure plans and, and a management strategy. How is this change in paradigm going to affect our system? That is what we are going to do, uh, discuss in domain five. Domain six, risk and consequences of cloud computing. Any change, any change which we make begets a risk. The success towards that change is to ensure uh, is a proper risk management and mitigation. Identification of those risks is part of that mitigation and management procedure. We will look into that in domain 6.0. Moving on to the next slide. Uh, this is the domain which I discussed that I, uh, further slides would follow. If you have some information, and this is part of kind of prerequisite from my side, uh, if you have some information on Microsoft Operations Framework or ITIL knowledge and some information on business processes which you intend to incorporate into the cloud or basic knowledge and or and basic knowledge and experience about, I, about IT, that is true truly 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 going to help but does not mean that you have to have these things if you have that is going to be an add-on now I have put together a mind map around these domains so in center you have CompTIA Cloud Essentials and we have 1.0 domain domain 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to me it has always helped having a reference point, a pictorial presentation of things and that is what it does for me and I hope that it will do for you.